a trendsetter. We're here with Robert Marion, who made the trip down from Mount Airy, North Carolina, for today's race here in Day City. You destroyed the race, mate. Uh, obviously, you had your legs. Um, the legs were good. You know, they definitely felt like um, I just come from a 10-hour drive or something. But, uh, you know, the competitions here with Josh and with Ryan, I mean, they kept me on my toes, especially uh, especially in the first half. And, uh, you know, I just tried to be smart and look for the right time to kind of drift away. And uh, that's what happened. I mean, the course here is, is, is amazing. Uh, Dan and the guys did a great job with what they have to work with. Uh, they got stairs, they got sand run up, they got some little marshy pits, some sand pits some power straight away that is going um, to be you know it's uh it's great to see up, how far Florida cross has come in just the past so couple years and the size of the fields and the excitement here you know um, i think uh florida is really getting uh the idea of cross and i uh, i expect it to explode over the next couple uh a uh, couple years and i think this would be a great site for like a uh you know a uci race maybe even a c2 um because that's what uh, would really pull the people in, and it's just a great venue, tons of space, tons of parking, and uh, you know they've just done awesome. Excellent, well, thanks, Robert. Now I understand today you also had a guest uh, pit boss. Well, All right, really once there. again. I did. I mean, he was down there. He was. Here. I think. I think I saw him sleeping one time when I went by the pits. He was very much but, asleep. Uh, you know, he did good. I, I, I saw him snoozing, so then I had to wake him up, uh, you know, let him know that it was a double pit because he was yeah. only, you know, prepared on one side. And so I thought, you know, just surprise him on the last lap, I would come in and actually take a bike on that second side. And I don't think he dropped it too bad, but uh, he, he we, dropped he, it. He, we were still able to hold on for the win. So that's yeah, the main that's thing. That's the main thing. He yeah. kept me out front and kept me on a clean beautiful, bike. Beautiful. Okay, well, thanks very much, Robert. Appreciate it, mate. Trent says we're here with the uh, American Plastic uh, team, Cyclocross team. Here's the equipment, the, uh, the background of Robert Scott. Just ignore my bike, today. but uh, that is a nice bike. There. And ultimately, we were treated to the In a minute, we're going to go inside the uh, team in sport, uh, trailer, the Navigander, behind the towel, the special beach towel. Here, today here we go. So no Maybe you can see in here. There's some tunes rocking out too. It's beautifully heated. This is what a uh, Pro Cross setup looks like. And as you can see, there's lots of spare wheels, with Robert being sponsored by uh, American Plastic. Okay, trendsetters, thanks very much. I'm running out.